There are four main processes by which materials are transported or moved down rivers. The first of these is traction. Traction occurs when larger, heavier materials like boulders or pebbles roll along the bottom of the river. Whilst these larger, heavier boulders are rolled along the bottom of the river, sometimes bits of them are chipped off or worn down in a process of erosion. Once these pebbles and rocks have become small enough, then they will move into the saltation stage. Here the material is smaller and is able to be lifted off the bottom and it bounces along the bottom of the river. Third, we have suspension. Suspension is where smaller particles are held or suspended in the water, which are then carried downstream. Clay is a good example of a common material that is suspended in a river. Last but not least, we have solution. This is where materials are dissolved into the water and then transported downstream. An example of this might be nitrates and phosphorus, which are used in farming. These chemicals run into the river from surface runoff and then dissolve into the water. How much a river can carry in each state depends on how much power and energy the river has. A river such as this one can carry huge boulders and transport them great distances. It can also carry a lot of sediment in suspension. In contrast, this smaller stream has very little energy and is unable to transport much material at all, and especially not any heavier materials. If rivers lose their energy, then they will have to deposit the material in order to keep moving on downstream. In these parts of the rivers, we have lots of sediment deposition. If you want to know more about rivers, please check out this playlist. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. I'm always happy to help answer them. Thank you very much.